Looks like I'm doing two videos today, one with progress on making web ribs, which I'll show in a second and give a quick update, uh, and the other one on cutting timber, because I'm getting near the end of the stack and I'm trying to hurry that along. I'll probably put the web ribs on pause for a few weeks while I focus on uh, this lump of timber. Okay. So, just protected from the sun at the moment, but I'll take this down. You can count them, I'm down to 16 pieces of timber to cut, which is frickin' awesome. Uh, unfortunately they're all large pieces, so they're taking me significantly longer than the previous ones. But that's alright, uh, I managed to get rid of two pieces uh, 10 inches by 3 inches today. Uh, managed to knock those down, and that's what uh, one of my videos is going to be showing. Uh, in particular, how little timber I can get out of that. Uh, the second piece of that, which I don't show in the in the video, uh, managed to get this piece marked green because that's going to be okay for uh, spar timber, uh, specifically the top rear spar for one of the wings. So, but that's for the video. And the other thing I want to show, if I flip through here, another big stack of firewood. is trading edge ribs waiting for light and hold template lots of center ribs cut out uh, just needing a little bit of sanding and under here stacked out of the way because I've been busy today is the trading edge routing jig, routing jig. What I intend to do with this is these should be right. I've got to line them up for a web rib so I can get that in. Um, but what I found is that diameter there is actually quite tight. My router is, I don't have a router small enough for that. So what I've concluded I'll do is I'll use that as a routing hole. I'll mark, put a screw in there to mark the ply. And then I'll drill a hole in the ply and I'll just cut that last little piece out. Um, but that's on a uh, get around to a project at the moment, uh, probably during quiet times over Christmas. Uh, otherwise I'll be cutting timber to try and get rid of the stack. Cool. Hope you enjoy the videos. That's where I'm up to so far. Some bonus footage for a rainy day. Um, that's some pretty good grain right there. We like that. Uh, the only catch is when you walk down the log, knot. Big knot. Small knot. Big knot. That's quite wavy there, the grain, which indicates problems underneath. Uh, and all down this edge is dusted with mould. And then on the other side, and because it's nice straight grain, these knots are going straight through. Another knot there. So this seems not going to do bad. So I might get some reasonable timber out of this part from about here through to the end, which is about two meters roughly. See how we go. Hi, I'm just working on my planing at the moment. There's uh, a lot of planing in my future. So I'm just working on a piece of timber at the moment. This piece. Uh, it's about a quarter inch smaller than it was about 20 minutes ago. And I'm working on just getting a decent shaving out of that, uh, as well as learning how to, how to uh, sharpen the plane blade. Uh, not as easy as you might think, but it's a skill I need to pick up. So the plane I've got, is a Stanley number five. Uh, that's the kind of shavings I'm getting at the moment. It's after about 10 minutes of planing, uh, which isn't too bad. I'm looking for a consistent shaving all the way across. I'm not consistently getting that, as you can tell from this pile of shavings, which includes a whole bunch of smaller ones as well as full width ones. So, but the piece of timber I'm working on, basically rubbish. So I can shave away as much as I like. 
I'm quite happy with that. Uh, what I'm working towards is making a spa or a mock-up of a spa. Actually I need to make two spars, both the front and the rear. And I've got the first one out here. Oh, that's just the cat. Get out the sun a little bit. So this is the first one. So that's the roughly the size. I use the jointer to get the left hand side square. And I want to plane the right hand side as well as the top and the bottom. And the top and the bottom are both at angles, different angles. So that's going to be a bit more of a challenge again. So it's not a huge piece of timber, uh, but it's got some nice grain on it, and it sh I should be able to get a spar out of it. And if I don't, ah, it's rubbish anyway, and I've got plenty other more, plenty of other pieces of rubbish timber I can experiment with. So, but rather than experiment on this one, for my initial planning benches, I'm working on that. So I'll let you know how I get on. That's what I'm talking about. Now I just have to be able to get that consistently, which is going to be more of a challenge I suspect, but that's looking pretty good. I'm going to have another go at resharpening the blade. Uh, you can't see it, but I can feel ridges in the surface which I'm picking are indicators of nicks in the blade. So if I can get those out and get that totally smooth, that'll probably make things a lot easier. So this is pretty much my um, sharpening setup. Pretty basic. Uh, just got a sh sharpening stone here. It's got a coarse and a fine side. Uh, when I buy another one, I'll pay more attention to the grits involved. Uh, that's fairly coarse, and that side's fairly fine. Gosh, that sounds very vague. Uh, and this is a honing guide, and I'll show you. Oops, get back in light. And I'll show you that in a minute with the blade in it, which will give you an idea how it's used. Feeling quite pleased after several weeks of faffing around with a uh, router template for that centered web rib, I finally got it to the point where it's actually messes out okay. Uh, so I'll just flick this through. Right, adjust the camera here. So these lightning holes are now pretty much spot on and the the rib webs above and below these need to be a quarter of an inch wide. They're now just over that. All of them. And to be honest I'm going to leave it at that. I'm not going to try and make them any thinner. So I'm quite happy with that. And I won't knock out the rest right now. I've got a few to, few to knock out, but I'll save that for Christmas. This is about a week before Christmas, uh, so I'll do noisy stuff today, which will focus on cutting down some of that timber there. Oh, now as I get up. So that's some of this stuff. So I want to try and knock out two or three of these over today and tomorrow. Uh, then after that I've got to restack the uh, stack because I actually want the beams that are supporting it. Uh, what's under it is H5 beams and I've got a low deck to build. And I can use those up on the on the low deck and I'll restack this on builder's timber. So yeah, so I can be a busy couple of days. Hope you enjoyed the video. It's a short one this time. I've focused more on uh, cutting timber as opposed to making web rips but I'm still making progress on that and I'll keep keep working on that slightly over Christmas. In the meantime though if I can get my timber stacked down and restacked I'll be very very happy chappy. So cool, see you soon.